Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of my trophy log series. This is the series where we keep track of our most prized possessions. In the last episode, after days of struggling and making bank, we finally got our trophy kibble car. In this episode, we are off to another trophy, which we will find on Winding Rivulet. But before we do that, this is the fun spot segment of the video where I try out your fishing spots. By the way, thank you for all of the nice comments. I really appreciate every single one of you. The spot is at 8787. We will use a 30 gram sinker, hook size 22, bait, red worms, and clip size 10. And Iro, thank you for the spot. From this spot, you can actually expect pretty much everything. I caught kibble car, common roach, perch, rough, white bream, one sleeper actually as well. So this was our strongest contester, which was a nice perch. By the way, the bite rate is absolutely amazing. We got our first rough at 9 p.m. and then a second one at 11 p.m. But the biggest shot is coming in at midnight and after midnight we caught a few that were close to a trophy size and then actually two which were exactly the trophy size as you can see this is the first trophy we caught it was a nice one it was 145 grams so five grams over the trophy size and the other one i didn't even think it was a trophy it was just one gram over the trophy size let's talk about money the good crumbly stuff there was no rough order but we still managed to get eight silver for perch order five silver for gibble order and 25 silver for the way premium order so in total we got 38 silver from the cafe rest of the keep net was worth 116 silver so in total we made 154 silver in less than one hour in my eyes this is absolutely amazing money per hour especially for low level players but now it's time to start the hunt there are actually two trophies that i've never had from winding rivulet one of them is the river muscle and the other one is gudgeon so in this episode, we will actually target the river muscle and the gudgeon. I don't know which one I'm going to get first. Maybe I'll get both. We'll see about that. But to catch gudgeon and river muscle, we need some bait. And for that, we need red worms. I have no clue why they love red worms so much. Why not blood worms? But this is the bait you want. And also you want really tiny hooks, preferably 20 to 24. I came to Mosquito Lake to buy some red worms because they're so much cheaper here and I don't want to buy them in bulk quantity. Also, you don't need a feeder cage, so you just want regular sinkers and I will go for the cheapest ones because, come on, they're so cheap. Everything else is so expensive. Why not? It makes no difference right now. Time to get some nice hooks. These are some good ones. Size 22. These will be perfect. The spot where I'm setting up is at 118, 124 on Winding Rivulet. I will use a 60 gram sinker, size 22, hook, red worm as a bait, and clip size 8. Aim towards northeast, but actually even a bit more east, as you can see, just between the two fallen trees. By the way, while reeling out, try to avoid these reeds because they will be a pain in your ass and you will get snagged. You will see that later in the video. It's not happy times then. Beautiful. I actually think I have something on, yeah. Oh, wow. While just recording over there for a cinematic view, I have caught, what is this? A river mussel? It actually seems like a decent one. I was very wrong. What is that fish? It's so tiny. Is that actually gudgeon or a tiny perch? It's a gudgeon. Nice. It's the target species, so I'm very happy about it. I've actually never, ever targeted gudgeon in this game, neither do you, like, mussels and so on. But we have another gudgeon on, I think. Ah, oh, it's another tiny one. Only 22 grams. Just imagine how little that actually is. But I mean, the bite rate is great. Three fish in a row just like that. 17 grams, even tinier. Looks like we actually have a behemoth on. This seems like a decent fish. And it's a bream, a white bream, I think. 500 grams. Wow, 800 is a trophy. Maybe by accident we can actually snag ourselves a white bream trophy from here as well. That would be actually insane. I would really, really like that. Let's see. Okay, this has some sort of a fight in it. But actually, wow, 76 gram gudgeon. That's a big one. That's the biggest I've had so far. It is just so weird how the muscle yoink your rod like it's a damn shark on the other end of the rod. But it's instead of that, it's just a 52 gram river mussel. 52 gram. That is super tiny. Do you guys ever wonder what is the smallest fish of every species somebody has caught in this game? I wish they would have like, instead of high scores, low scores. That would be so cool to see. But we caught a perch. That's the first perch I've had so far. Since the sun is actually going down, I don't think we will catch any more perch. But mostly just gudgeon, maybe some rough at the end. And also maybe some donets rough in the night. Who knows? No, I don't think... No, no, it's not empty. I thought it was empty at first, but look at that fish. It's so tiny. You can barely see that thing. 25 grams. Let's cast it back in. Okay, the sun is slowly falling down and 
we should be getting now some very good bites and some very nice fish soon. Not yet, not at 9pm, but maybe in a few hours. Let's see what this is. Oh, this is big, this can't be a question. Oh yeah, it's another white brim. 200 grams, so we actually might have a chance at getting a white brim trophy from here. And we have another fish on in a second, I think. And it just stopped, just like that, it was just trolling me. The prime time has started, it's almost 2am, let's see what this is. It's another white bream. But it's a good one, and white bream are also good cash, so I'm not complaining at all. And we have another fish on, and this is something tiny. Oh, it's rough actually, it's not a gudgeon. But it was a tiny rough, only 26 grams, I don't think that's worth uh, that much money. But another fish on right away, and this is a bigger one. And this looks like a big rough actually. 72 grams, hell yeah. That is solid, maybe three silver or so. I can already grab myself a beer, I think. And we have a fish on this one already again. Okay, something on the line. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's... Wait, what? It was right in front of me somehow. Well, okay, game. It's a zebra mussel. Those are worth some big bucks. And there might actually be a cafe order for it, so... We're in for some money. The sun is rising, we had no luck, but something is absolutely trying to destroy my rod, so I think we should see in a second what it is. But I'm not sure if it's on yet. Okay, let's see what's on there. Oh, so there was nothing on. I guess it were the ghosts playing with my hook. What the hell was that? Oh, it's something big. Oh, it's a river muscle. And it's a huge one. Is that maybe a trophy size? I'm not sure, let's see. 181 grams. That's pretty close to a trophy. So I think we might be in luck with this spot. A sneaky white eye bream and a regular bream. It is so fun to use red worms as a bait because you never know what you're going to catch. There's so many options. We have caught another zebra and this seems like a pretty big one. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. I can't wait to go and sell all of these fish. I think we'll make like 70 to 100 silver maybe. I'm not 100% sure, but what is this? Oh, this is something big and it's going. It is, oh, it's a perch. Oh yeah, the morning is here. So perch are coming on now. Almost a kilo perch. Wow, that's not bad at all. And it has actually happened. I am now snagged into the reeds and there's no way I can get out of here, I think. And it is so annoying. I've been trying for the past few minutes almost and I just can't get out of the reeds. You can just see how fragile those reeds are. But the game's like, nope. Those are made out of concrete and you're not going to pull your hook out of it. So what to do now? Pretty much you have only two options. You either cut your line while pressing X or go into the menu and log out of the game. Yeah, log out, don't close the game. Log back in and you will actually spawn at the beginning of the map once again with all of your tackle in your inventory and nothing is broken. We actually have a zebra muscle order. So we can do this for easy 15 silver. And yeah, I think this is the only order. No, actually we can fill in the rough order as well for another 18 silver. Easy money. Let's run to the market now and sell the rest of the fish for 43 silver. So we actually made, as I predicted, around 70 silver. So not too bad. The best money right now, white eye bream as expected. Then the big white bream and the river muscle. And let's start with the new day. I absolutely love this spot and I'm willing to go dry here because this is a fun spot for sure. And what have we hooked into? It's another big muscle. Is this? Oh, I did not think this was going to be a trophy, but it's a trophy by one gram because 200 is a trophy size. Well, I am complaining. It took us only one day or actually day and a half to get our first trophy. So do not cut the episode short. Maybe let's stay here for a little bit longer and try to also get a Gudgeon trophy. But yeah, this is a nice trophy. We have another trophy ticked off the checklist and this is amazing. Our first trophy on Winding Rivulet. What do we have on now? I think this is a tiny gudgeon. Actually, 50 grams is a marker. Not so bad. But yeah, the whole day yesterday, I was getting gudgeon that were like 20 grams and so on. But this night, I started getting a lot of rough, which is quite good because rough is worth quite a lot of silver. We also managed to actually get a bleak, which is kind of weird but i'm not complaining and somehow i managed to get a crawdaddy i don't know how but this is a nice crawfish i've actually caught one before on this account when i was testing out the fun spot which was like 140 grams that was quite a behemoth to be to be honest it's bread and tea time once again hello another stripey when fishing for a small fish like gudgeon it's so hard to know if it's a trophy or not because the bar is not going up that much this was a 42 grammer which is less than half of the trophy size by the way this spot has been a blast so if you want to go somewhere 
somewhere and have some fun, definitely try out this spot. This spot has everything you need as well. Want to make a campfire? No problem. Make your campfire, make some tea, make some coffee. Want to smoke a fish? No problem. You just have a smokehouse right there. Need to dry yourself a roach? Have some salt in the inventory? Why not? Make yourself a snack. By the way, this is how the keep net is looking right now after this night. We have 39 fish in the inventory. We have quite a fair share of gudgeon, but not too much. The species, we have so many different species in there. I guess something has been hooked on the third feeder while we were actually checking the keep net. And it seems like a gudgeon and a pretty big one. Let's see how big this is. Ooh, it's a trophy? What? We actually caught another trophy already. It took me two days to get two different trophies. This is unreal. I am super happy. We have another trophy ticked off the log. I'm speechless. I'm not sure if I should stay here longer and try to get another trophy or not. I think we'll have to move on because for the series, but this is awesome. We have two new trophies. Lads, I was thinking, should I get a picker rod so I can actually tick off some challenges or get the carp rod and 60% of bottom fishing? I'm not really sure. If you can leave a comment down below, Low and help me out please let me know so let's see do we have a cafe order we can fill in we actually can fill in the rough order which is 15 silver easiest money i've ever made we have a gudgeon order as well for 20 silver another very easy cafe order from the spot and maybe no no white brim so i think we can't fill in any other orders let's sell the rest of the fish now and we have so many different species it's actually crazy and the muscle is worth the most with the gushing right behind it and then a rough but this is a solid 51 silver with those cafe orders as well we're nearing like 80 or 90 silver i really forgot how much those cafe orders were but we're pretty much rich we're so close to 1000 silver if you guys enjoyed this episode make sure to leave a like or a comment down below this really is a great feedback for me and i know what to improve in my videos and i think the next episode is going to be very interesting because i found the perfect spot for a trophy and also to make a lot of money so take care everyone bye bye